Hello and welcome to another Budget Model Railways video and another video on some new additions to our 3D printed ranges. Uh, these are quite important to us, so I appreciate they might not uh, appeal to everyone. Um, but I'm a big fan of diesel locomotives and I'm a big van, fan of diesel uh, rail buses. And we've known for a while that we'd like to try and print something a little bit bigger. Um, in the end, although we bought a, a bigger printer, it turns out we could print these on the original ones. So what we're using here, we're using the Lima HO Class 33 chassis. Um, now these are generally available in the UK quite cheaply second hand, certainly around the 10-15 pound mark. And it does give us the option of a relatively smooth, quiet, uh, reliable chassis with a bit of work um, that we can drop these bodies onto. Now, I appreciate for those of you in the rest of the world, they might not be as readily available, although I believe they were used, uh, for instance, in Australia and a few other places. But for the UK, these are relatively available. But as I say, they are the HO chassis um, because we wanted to sink a little bit smaller. But the models are done to double O four millimeters to a foot. So these are double O models. So first off, we've done a Bobo diesel. So as you can see, um, quite a lot of cab detail at the front. We've got lights, we've got um, horns, we've got a uh, indicator box, and we've got the handrails round. Nice down the sides, again, we've got windows, handrails, grills, all the kind of things you'd expect to see on a little Bobo diesel. Uh, windows into the engine room, inspection hatches. You can also see the two little square cutouts in the side, which is how this simply just clips straight onto the chassis, uh, which is rather useful. And this shows you then the motor uh, and the chassis. You might find that some of these are occasionally missing their weights, but that's relatively easy to replace in a number of different ways. So that's the Bobo diesel. They paint up really well. We haven't painted one yet, but we're looking forward to doing that. And using the same cab ends, we also have a lovely little diesel rail bus. Now this gives you something, it actually is about the same size as the Daypole rail bus, but obviously it looks a little bit different, looks a little bit more modern. We've got more doors in it, there's cab doors and doors in the side. And again, painted up, perhaps in original green with uh, white, white roof ends, grey roof, yellow ends, that sort of thing. Or you could do a uh, British Rail Blue with yellow ends. And of course, with my interests in more fictional railways, you could do your own colour scheme as you could on the Bobo diesel. So we're looking forward to running these. We've had them running in this form on our layout and they look very good. Might not be quite such a mainstream model as some of our models, but hopefully it will appeal to a few people. As always, all the details are on our website. Uh, budget model railways uh, it's got all the prices all the ordering details and so on these will be still relatively cheap to send overseas because they're in kit form they will fit in an envelope which means they'll go out quite cheaply on international standard mail um, can i just say if there is anybody international we still occasionally get people who click on the uk mail and then expect us to send it overseas there is a box on there to click to ask us for a quote for overseas postage, which we can then provide. So anyway, let us know what you think. Um, useful little locos and rail buses for us, uh, and hopefully one or two people will find them useful for their layout. We do have quite a lot of plans for 3D printing. Um, we've got some buildings planned as well. So keep an eye out, uh, and if you're into this sort of thing, keep an eye on our website every so often, and also our various social media sites. We often give details of the models on the social media sites before we do on the main website, um, just to get a little bit of interest before we get round, to be honest, to taking all the photographs and all the effort it needs to get it on the website. So thank you very much for watching and we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.